Hey everybody, this is Mike in a mom with clean panels. Uh, I just want to start off thanking you so much for the uh, reception of clean panels and uh, the amount of people that have hopped into our Discord to help, uh, to, to let us know the issues they've been having. Um, we cannot thank you enough and I hope going forward we're able to make this tool the best it can for your workflow. Um, that being said, any review, letting people know only helps out, um, and come into the discord, uh, we're there to help and we have some great people helping us test if you want to help test. So what this video is, is, uh, what's new in version two. So we've done a lot of testing, has a lot of feedback, um, to get where we're at. I know it's only been maybe, what, 12 days since our original release, but uh, all right, so let's get into it. When you get your new copy or your first copy from the Blender Market and you come in your preferences, I won't have it here because I've already installed it once, but you are going to see a button um, <clears throat> that says enable um, for the end panel ordering. You're going to need to click that, okay? You're going to need to restart Blender, okay, to make that happen. And what that will happen, and that button will go away. Um, so I'm just going to go through the items that we see here. It might be a little bit longer video, but uh, hopefully I hit every item here. Um, went through, did a lot of bug testing, a couple different things we had. We had some issues with maybe photographer, um, different um, add-ons and stuff, just making sure they work properly in our drop-downs, in our pie menu, um, different things like that. Um, so what you're going to see <clears throat> right off the bat, we are now offering ordering. Okay. You're going to be able to order your, um, panels. Okay. You're going to be able to move them up and down and those will take place within your categorization. So that's awesome there. You are going to see this button up here called experimental features. Okay. What that is, some of your add-ons that you will see that you go through this table, <clears throat> excuse me, will say forced order found. Now, what that is, is some of the people that create their add-ons want them to show up in a certain order, which is cool on that end. They want to show them in a certain, you know, at the bottom, the top. Um, so what that happens is you need to click on it. Well, you need to make sure experimental features is clicked or you won't even see the option to do this as you'll see okay otherwise you won't be a, you'll you'll move them in the table they just won't show up differently um, on your panel okay so click your experimental features what you could do is you can click the button here and you're going to notice this tab goes away when it's done Actually, they should be able to uh, move it. Okay. Uh, another thing you're going to see here is sticky pop-ups. Okay. What that is, it's for the drop-downs. Um, it allows them to be able to be moved. Um, but it also allows them so that as soon as you move your mouse off, they don't disappear, which is kind of cool. Um, I know... Typical uh, blender as soon as you move outside of your window will Move them now. They're not there permanently As soon as you click something they will go away but we try to uh, Do the best we can to keep it up. Okay um, <clears throat> Then we have uh, so that was the sticky pop-ups Any of your end panel ordering that you do you will need to restart blender the reason being is when blender starts it registers their location in the end panel okay um, just a heads up there now we have seen some issues I just want to give you a heads up with uh, simple tabs um, because they both are trying to register items into the uh, end panel and you might see some issues there okay Okay, so another neat feature you're going to see here is once you start adding items, okay, 
you're going to see these buttons popping up that will allow you to easily take them away. So let's say tools. Okay. It'll take it away from the panel there. Makes it nice. Um, we did learn also that um, you have your configuration file. Every time you make a change now, it's automatically saving that configuration file. So you don't have to worry about if you have a crash or anything. Automatically, uh, your hard file will be saved. Uh, speaking about that, you're going to see on the bottom here real quick. Um, a lot of people are asking about this. You are able to export your configuration file, which will be all of your settings here. And then if you have to reinstall things like that, you can re-import it with all your settings, which is nice. Uh, we've added a button here to they'll bring you to your documentation, which is our, uh, our new page that we're going to be doing. Right now it's going to the Google Doc, but we've just created this new uh, Notion page here, which is kind of cool. Um, we're going to be putting a lot of information here, things we'll be working on, things we're testing, the roadmaps, uh, your documentation link to the Discord, um, our videos will all be within here, okay? Uh, chat support, that'll bring you to our Discord. YouTube brings you to our videos, obviously. Um, so go back up here. You're gonna see in the pie menus, okay? One of the options is gonna be for drop downs. Um, you're gonna see this button here that says column layout. Okay, what that does is it's going to be a stackable option for your drop downs. So instead of it being, two, you can have the option to be uh, horizontal or vertical. If you use the column layout, it'll be in a vertical option. Okay. Okay, so here's your drop downs. You're going to see the buttons there also. Uh, okay. And you are also going to see, and I apologize, inside here, are you going to see on the right hand here, these buttons, okay? What these are allowing you to do is, let's say you go through, you create everything, and you want to move your categorizations. You'll be able to do that with these buttons here, okay? Uh, if you hit Control and down, it'll drop it all the way to the bottom. If you hit left uh, mouse button, Control up, it'll bring it all the way to the top, which is a neat feature. Okay. So a lot of our work also was done in the workspace add-ons, which a lot of people like the uh, filtering here. You're going to notice at the top, our filter button, we took away the text. Okay. We want to give people as much room as they can on here, um, which is also nice too, because speaking about the drop down for here, if you have no drop down set up and this is empty, okay, that will not exist here. Like this will not be here then for the drop down panel and you will get your real estate back, which is nice. Okay. So in the workspace add on, you're going to see <clears throat> we added in the icons instead of being able to scroll up and down. We now have a nice uh, searchable um, icon section that comes up. You'll be able to see all the icons and scroll through them, which is really nice. We are in the future going to be able to add uh, custom icons, which is really cool. Um, so you'll be able to pick all your icons there. All right, so let me look at my notes. One thing that I wanted to bring up <clears throat> in the um, quick settings here real quick, you can see you could drag it around. Some people are going to say, hey, I can't uh, delete my options here. But one thing we wanted to do is right now we wanted to keep this as clean as we can. So you're going to still be able to um, move your categories, which is cool here because you're going to notice um, in your workspace categories, if you move them, the icons will also move. So that was a lot of people were asking, hey, I got my icons here. You know, can I... Can I do that? So you're going to have your icons that move, which is really cool. Um, but as of right now, we're not allowing deletion of, I mean, obviously you can still go in here and delete them, but the big buttons, because it'll get messy. 
A neat feature that somebody brought up and I wasn't even aware, it's more or less along the lines of uh, Blender. So if you come down to your workspace, okay, and in the icon section, you're going to see in the upper left-hand corner, there's a nothing selection there, which is kind of cool. If you click that, so it basically puts no icon, it'll put the name text of the category, which is kind of cool. Um, in case you, let's say you only have a couple categories there and you want to actually see the name, you can do that now, which is quite nice. And what I'll do here is I'll show you, um, so my icon was empty. If I go in here, I like the home. So I'll cl click home, find it, brings it back, auto saves it. Everything's great. The icon's changed. All right. So I want to just go back through my notes, reiterate some of the things here for what's new in version two. Okay. When you first boot it up, you're going to see a button right here. That's going to say enable. Go ahead and click that. Restart your blender. Get back in. Um, also, your experimental features. If you click that, which is going to allow for some of the items that have locked positioning, you will need to restart after you do that. Okay. Only because it's the matter of uh, loading in the, the add on panel here. Okay. So we have that. We have auto save now in. Uh, we have the new icon selection, which is awesome. Okay. Again, make sure you have your empty icon there and it'll give you your text. We have the drop downs. If you have nothing in the drop downs here, that will be empty. The reordering, which again is awesome. The reordering of your categories, which is cool. And you'll see up top, my icons are moving too, which is great. Pie panels. If you put it in column layout, that's going to stack your drop down for that add-on. If you take it off, it's going to go horizontally. Okay. <clears throat> You've got your documentation button down here. You're able to now export and save your settings, which is awesome after you spend some time setting it up, be able to import it back. We have our Discord link here, which will be chat um, support, our videos. Um, any questions, please hop into our Discord. Any suggestions, we have a feedback channel. Uh, without the community, we would not be building this for you. So let us know any issues, any of your add-ons that were causing any issues, let us know. And uh, we'll be here for you. I really appreciate your time. Um, just happy to have a creative day and uh, talk to you soon.